To the point, formative, entertaining, and protecting the Second Amendment, welcome back to Elster's Rifles and Reloading and the review of the 10-inch pistol flavor test long digital bore scope. Now, if some of you OG subscribers to my channel, you probably already know I'm a huge fan of these test long digital bore scopes. All cleaned up here, and let me hit record here, and I'll direct feed this right to you guys right now. All right, so here is the crown or the muzzle. And man, you can see I did an amazing job of cleaning that up. And wow, does that crown ever look amazing? Not only are they affordable, but they just work great. The HD quality on these things is just insane, especially for the money. Matter of fact, I use my 36 inch flexible flavor all the time. They sell them on Amazon for I believe 50 bucks shipped. And in my opinion, if you're a true marksman and you really want to know what's going on with your rifle's bore, you really need to have a bore scope. And not only a bore scope, but a bore scope that has a side facing mirror. So you can see the side of the bore, not just down the bore. You need that side facing mirror. If your bore scope doesn't have that side facing mirror, in my opinion, it's absolutely worthless. And that's where these test long digital bore scopes really shine. And they just came out with the pistol flavor of the Tesla on bore scope, not only in the wired version, the USB version for $44.99 shipped, but they also have this Wi-Fi version for $69.99 shipped. And that's just an insane deal. And not only that, but this is the rigid version, which gives you a little bit more control. If you don't want to use the flexible, model you want a little bit more control in regards to inspecting that rifle's bore that's where these rigid versions really shine and keep in mind with the usb version it does not work with apple products but on the other hand the wi-fi version works with all products android and apple and in my opinion the 25 extra dollars is 100 percent worth it so you get not only all those options, regardless of the iPhone or Android or PC product that you're using, but just to have the Wi-Fi capabilities alone is absolutely worth it. Well, enough of the BS talk, let's jump right into this. Now, just to get my disclosures out of the way and to be crystal clear with you guys, this was sent to me from Testlong for T&A purposes for the specific review. And if you're interested in this product, check out the description box below. I'll have one of my Amazon affiliate links that will take you directly to this product for purchase. Now, it is one of my Amazon affiliate links. I do get a marginal kickback on that. It's only a couple bucks. But if you wanna help support my YouTube channel and push this content into the future, if you're gonna make that purchase anyway, it doesn't cost anything to you but it definitely helps support my channel. So just to be crystal clear with you guys, this was sent to me for t &E purposes. Now, like I previously mentioned, they have both the USB option for $44.99 and the Wi-Fi version for 70 bucks. And like I mentioned earlier, in my opinion, it's 100% worth it just to spend the extra $25 and get the Wi-Fi version. Not only for the option to use it between Apple products, Android and PC, which the USB version does not work with Apple products, just to have the Wi-Fi version alone so you're not fumbling with cables. One issue I notice all the time when I'm trying to use my flexible model that I have to directly plug into my PC here on the side. I have to move all these, these products, move my existing uh, item that's plugged into my USB, plug it in, and then I have this cable that's going by my fx 120i scale here that costs over a thousand bucks and god forbid i ever knock that thing off my bench but to have the ability to just do this over wi-fi and not have to deal with all of those fumbling cables in my opinion the wi-fi version is 100 percent worth it 
Now, keep in mind that this flavor of the Teslong rigid bore scope for pistols has a 10 inch rigid shaft on it, which, you know, should cover most pistols. So if you're huge in the pistols and, you know, I know my channel's name is Elster's Rifles and Reloading, but I do own some pistols and I actually have quite a few AR pistols. So if you have a really big collection of pistols or AR pistols or SBRs, and you want something that's shorter and more manageable, I think this is a great option for you. And, you know, if you have some pistols that are over 10 inches or SBRs or AR pistols, you might want to consider checking out their new 26 inch rigid shaft model that also has a separate viewing screen which i'm about to review this here in a little bit so this might be another option you're about to see this video review here very shortly here in the next couple days uh, but if you want something that is more manageable and you have a huge collection of uh, pistols and sbrs that are 10 inches or less this might be a good option for you so just as a reminder and to really drive this nail home the usb version does not work with iPhone or iPad, but the Wi-Fi version does work on all products. So like I said, just for the Wi-Fi capabilities alone, it's worth it but to make sure that it's compatible with all products. The extra $25 for the Wi-Fi version, in my opinion, is the way to go. You know, I got to tell you, Teslong, they're really stepping up their game. As a matter of fact, they're even giving you these really nice boxes for storage. And even on the 26 inch model, they have this really nice box that they're giving you for storage purposes that has a foam padding in it uh, so you don't damage your product. And even with the 10 inch version, it even has foam padding in the inside of it. So way to go test long. I think that is a great thing to do for storing away your purchase. So just to do a quick unboxing, you got the Wi-Fi adapter box itself, and there are some buttons on the side here. Matter of fact, I will splice a picture here of the upper corner showing exactly what these are for. The USB connector itself on the end. You got a USB charging cable. And what I thought was really nice and cool from Teslong is they're giving you some extra tips here. So just in case you damage one or let's say like the, you drop this and the mirror falls off, you got some extra tips. And obviously the rigid 10 inch bore scope itself, which has inch markings on the side. So if you want to inspect exactly say six inches down that pistol's bore, you can easily set this gauge marker here. So this will stop at the muzzle of your firearm. And then they even give you this nice protective tip for storage purposes. And man, they're really, really knocking these bore scopes out of the park. Way to go, Teslong. Now the user guide is very clear and concise. They're giving you clear instructions here for Windows 7 XP, Vista, Mac users, Android users, you name it. They're giving you a clear idea of what to do in order to get this going. Now. In my own personal experience using the 36 inch flexible model, if you wanna make sure that your picture is clear and concise, you gotta make sure you understand how to adjust this mirror. And it's adjustable if you adjust this all the way out. If you got a smaller bore, say something like a 223, you wanna make sure this adjusts it out. And for larger, calibers you want to make sure it's adjusted all the way in that's something you got to play around with a little bit in order to get the perfect picture but keep that in mind and also making sure you wipe off that mirror to get a crystal clear hd picture now first and foremost i have verified that these firearms are cleared the ar pistol i have the bolt removed and i've inspected the chamber good to go there this handgun i've removed the magazine inspected the chamber good to go there so got that out of the way now first and foremost what made me really really excited about this particular wi-fi flavor is i can now use it with apple products where the usb plug-in model is unable to work with apple products and it's really simple as downloading this MoView app off the Apple App Store. And 
it literally took 30 seconds to download and open that up. And that's the first thing you're definitely gonna wanna do here. And then you just open up your Wi-Fi settings. I might have to blur some of this out. Um, but you just turn on the test long Wi-Fi box. So you see the power start up just like that. And I just don't want you to see my personal <laughs> Wi-Fi information. But you're gonna see this pop up here really soon. So there you can see it popped up, Wi-Fi cam 128DB8. So I'm just gonna click on that. So you can see it's now connected. And then just go back to my desktop and start up MoView. Now what is really, really nice about this is it really is this simple. Just click on it and it just works. And one thing I realized is you might want to double check and make sure that it is recording in 1280 by 720, especially if you're going to use this for recording video or taking pictures. And it really is that intuitive and it's just that easy. And you can see there's some extra buttons on here for recording video and taking pictures. And uh, so let's check out the bore on this five inch AR pistol with a blast diffuser. So you can see the inside of the blast diffuser here. And we're going right into the crown of this uh, AR pistol. Now I do have these stored away, so there's quite a bit of oil on these. So just forewarning you, um, but man, look how clear that picture is. Matter of fact, I'm gonna hit record and splice you guys right into the feed right now. So you guys are watching this directly from the Tesla on Borescope. And there is a dimmer on the side of this borescope. You can see I can dim it down all the way to nothing. You can dim it back up. And usually I just have them on full bore in regards to the brightness. But look how clear that is. And it is just unbelievable. You know, the, the end of that rifling on the crown is perfect. There's not a single scratch in it. Matter of fact, with this uh, rigid model. I can follow that individual rifling. I'm spinning this ever so slightly right down to the rifling's land. And there is the individual lands of that rifling. And man, that is awesome. So you can inspect the uh, chamber and one thing you might want to do, on, especially in these larger bores, it's not like a 223 or a smaller caliber. So when you're dealing with something like a 9mm or 45 ACP, is you want to bring this, let me zoom out here a little bit. You have to bring this to the opposite side of the bore. You don't want to bring it close up because it could blurry. I can bring it to the opposite side and it gets a much more clear picture just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So if I bring the mirror close, it's blurry. If I bring it away, it's a lot more clear. And make sure you have this adjusted properly in regards to bringing this uh, adjustment of the mirror in or out. So you can see there's a little bit of a coupler here. So you can screw this in and out. And then this coupler works against the mirror to tighten at home. So just make sure this is nice and tight so it's not spinning uh, as you're trying to inspect the rifle's bore. So let's check out this pistol here. So you can see here is the crown of the pistol. And is this picture ever clear? It's unreal. And this is in storage too. So there's quite a bit of oil in here. I really should, I really need to clean this pistol up. And this is my everyday carry pistol. I, there's probably over 2000 rounds on this. Bore easy. Um, yeah, this is the SIG P320 compact. You can see the individual lands. Here's the end of the chamber. Here's the start of the chamber. Here's the lands of this individual rifling. And I can twist this. And that's what's nice about this rigid model is I can twist this and follow that individual rifling right up to the crown. Man, that is so cool. Just ultra clear and just super easy to use. 
and then I just stop this and I can go to let me zoom in here a little bit so I can open up photos it automatically puts it right in your photos click on that hit play and it really is that easy and I could take this off I can hook this uh, iPad up to my PC using uh, uh, Apple cable and I can put this into the video like you guys are watching this very second. So once again, Teslong with their digital borescopes, knocking it completely out of the park. And I am beyond impressed. And every friend that I have mentioned about using the Teslong borescopes, they've always gotten back to me and saying, wow, thank you so much for that advice. For the inexpensive price, but yet high quality resolution that you're getting, it is hard to beat. And keep an eye out for some future videos that are coming up here really soon. I'm pretty much the exact same thing, but a 26 inch rigid version, but knock it even more out of the park, comes with its own viewing screen. And what's so nice about this is you could take it right out to the range and it just makes it super simple and this video review is also coming up that is not only compatible with the rigid version but i got a special cable to hook up the flexible model too to make it even more portable i don't know who at Teslong is doing their research but man you guys are doing it right and i'm super impressed to get these reviews going on the other products. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are learning something. And like I said, if you're interested in these products, check out the description box below. I'll have one of my Amazon affiliate links in there. Make that purchase simple and also help support my channel. Um, but yeah, awesome, awesome product. Well, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Hit that notification bell. Become a Patreon. It helps out more than you know. And I will see you guys in the next video.